I've rotated it around so it can get even better looking. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's take it out. Hey, guys. Welcome back to my channel, and welcome to day 15 of Vlogmas. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I make a delicious honey-baked ham. All right, let's get started. The guest of honor today is <laughs> our spiral cut ham. All right, y'all, I got this from Walmart, okay? And this is a double glazed ham. So in preparation, they've already put the glaze on it, and then you have another pack that you put on it. I never use that, okay? I got this from Walmart, and let's see, the price is, let's tear it off right quick. The price was $29.46, and it's a 12 pound ham. It's really like 13 pounds, 228 a pound. And we are getting ready to dress this up to make our honey baked ham. Now you compare the price of that 12 pound ham to the price of this nine pound ham. $75 is a big difference. What I'm gonna do now is just take this ham out of the bag and let y'all see what it look like. And always, I always try to make sure that I either get the purple foil or the gold foil. And sometimes they have a red foil too. See that pack right there? Mm-mm. I don't use it. I, ne I just never do. I guess you could, but I just, I prefer not to. I like to put my own stuff on the ham. So you're gonna take the foil off, and then it's vacuum packed. Here, see that? Got that bone in there. <laughs> Y'all, this is going to be some good ham. When I first met my husband, Monty, and uh, once we got to a point where we were spending holidays together and everything, and I was cooking for him, he was always like, okay, uh, I don't eat nothing but honey baked ham, spiral slice. So he doesn't like the country ham like I do, where you get it and you have to cook the ham. So these hams here are already cooked. You just have to heat them through. But for me, I'm a country girl. I like to get that ham out of the store that had the red uh, net around it. The good country ham, not the mm, country salty ham, but the good ham that you have to cook. That's the kind I grew up with my mama cooking. That's the kind I like. But I haven't had that because he don't eat it. But those make the best pot of soup. When you get finished with that ham, Put that ham bone in the freezer and save it until you're gonna make some greens or some pinto beans or some vegetable soup you can't go wrong all right so what i always do is give this a gentle wash okay because i don't want to be too rough with it so what i'm gonna do is give this one a bath gonna just let that ham sit in the colander and let it continue to drain we're gonna get our baking dish ready now I've got my foil heavy-duty Reynolds wrap and we're gonna just cover our pan this is gonna help a whole lot with cleanup
Okay, now the pan is ready. Okay, we're going to let the ham rest on the stove right there until we get our honey and butter mixed together. Okay, we're going to use four tablespoons of butter. Use that scale on the back right there. And we're gonna melt this in the microwave. Now we're going to take six tablespoons of honey and mix it in there. Now this is wild flower honey. I got this at the flea market, all right? And I haven't tasted it, but I'm anxious to. Oh my goodness, look at that. Okay, six tablespoons. It smells really good. If you're a honey lover, mm, yeah. Now we are going to take this honey butter and slather it in between slices of ham. Just paint it on with your pastry, br pastry brush. my oven at temperature putting it between the slices. We're gonna just put some all over the top. And on the sides. Now, if I was gonna use this, if I wasn't putting the sweetness on this ham, I would put water in the bottom of it 
and I would save that broth for when I'm cooking those that things that I mentioned earlier. But since this is gonna be a sweet-based ham, we're not gonna wanna use that. So what we're gonna do is wrap this up tight and put it in the oven just so it can heat all the way through it for one hour. So let me show you what I do. I'm gonna turn it upside down so that it'll, it'll heat and the slices won't fall apart where it's overlapping. All right, so what we're gonna do is wrap this up now. All right, so what we're gonna do now is go ahead and wrap it up so we can get it in the oven. Okay, and that's how you wrap it up to put it in the oven. Now what we're gonna do is let this ham stay in the oven for an hour. By then, it's gonna be heated all the way through. Then we're gonna put our topping on it, put it on broil, and it's gonna be a really nice, crispy crust on the outside of it. All right, we're gonna put it on a 375 degree oven for one hour. taking the ham out of the oven. Now what I'm gonna do is just remove the foil so it can breathe a little bit and cool down so I can be able to handle it. So this is what the ham looks like. We're gonna go ahead and drain most of this juice off of here so we can transfer the pans. Now remember, we're not gonna save this juice because it's sweet. I normally would save that broth to make some type of vegetable soup or some beans or something, make it extra yummy, but not when I put honey in it. This is the pretty baking dish that I've chosen to cook the ham in. Look at that. It's for presentation, okay? I've had this for a while. I think it came with two pieces, and I love it for Christmas time. And it, I got it from Members Mark. <laughs> you know that's Sam's. All right, so what we're gonna do is transfer this ham and get it in the oven to put the first glaze on it. I already have the oven on broil. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and transfer this ham. I'm gonna be working with some gloves because I don't want my hands all sticky and nasty. Okay, so we're gonna take this ham 
and just transfer it. Now it's cooled down enough. The reason I like to cook it with the on the side like that is because it helps to keep all the pieces together. Now you see how pretty that looks? It's not flopping all over. Now if I had put this in the oven, just up there by itself like that, then some of the ham, some of the slices would be leaning over by now. And I don't really want that. I want this ham to be as pretty as it can be. Okay. See that? It looks really pretty. So I'm gonna bring it closer so that I can get all of this nice sugar topping on top of it. You see we had it in here and it's still really good. Gonna put those pieces in there. All right, so what we're gonna do is, using our hands, we're gonna take the sugar mixture and just put it on, sprinkle it on the top, okay? We're gonna do this twice. And we have a lot of different spices in here, as you can see, when I made it, when I mixed it up together, we're gonna pat it on there, trying to keep it together, okay? We're gonna put it in the oven on broil. Okay, that's enough for this first layer. We may or may not use all of this this time. Okay, now let's go ahead and get it in the oven. Now this is what it looks like, okay? At this point, you don't want to leave out here. You don't want to walk away because what's going on is that broil is caramelizing the sugar and the spices, okay? You see it? You see that? It's caramelizing that sugar. I have it on high. I think I'm gonna turn it on low so it won't burn. See that? The last thing you wanna do right now is walk off or walk out that kitchen. Don't close the oven door because you want it to be watched at all times. And I turned it around a little bit too. But you see it's sizzling. <laughs> now what we're gonna do is take some of the drippings from the pan of the ham and mix it with about half of a cup of the mixture. And we're gonna put this on the top of it. I'll put some more in here because I don't want it to be completely dissolved. There we go. All right, let me get this mixed up and we're gonna put it over the top of the ham too. Okay, this is what our ham glaze looks like now. All right, and we're going to coat it. Now this is Christmas time. It's the only time that I make my ham this sweet because for some reason, Christmas and ham, it just seems like it just brings out the sweetness in people. So let's have a honey glazed ham. Honey glazed ham. I know. All right, now we're gonna put it back in the oven. Watch it like a hawk. Oh, the smell, the smell. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be good. I will 
rotated it around so it can get even better looking. it out. All right, guys, this is my version of a honey baked ham. Okay, it takes a little bit of time, a little bit of preparation, but if you're patient, you will come out with something that is truly delicious. All right, I hope you guys will give this a try because it'll save you some money if you make it yourself instead of going to honey baked ham every year. All right, guys, this concludes this video. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you want to be notified each time I upload a new video, please hit the notification bell below. Thanks and God bless.